Okay then, Amber Glass, our story for this week. Uh, it's this one. Not come across this author before, uh, Eva Eland. When Sadness Comes to Call. As you can probably imagine, this is a book about how we might deal with a certain feeling. We can take a look at the blurb there. Sadness comes to visit unexpectedly, but when you let sadness in, you'll discover this strange guest is not what it seems. And we can see sadness as this huge blue sad creature. Reminds me a little bit about the character in Inside Out, if you've seen that film. And maybe it's got some similar themes to that one. Let's take a look at what sadness does when it arrives. Ooh, you can see, just in the title pages here, lots of different sad people. Because sadness does come to call for everyone at some point, often many times in our lives. So, there it is. Sadness pressing the bell with this child here looking up for the first time from their book at sadness. Sometimes sadness arrives unexpectedly. It follows you around. And sits so close to you, you can hardly breathe. You can try to hide it. There they are, shoving sadness into the cupboard. But it feels like you've become sadness yourself if you do that. And we have sadness right up here inside the character, the main character, who's not named yet. Now it's given us some advice. Try not to be afraid of sadness. Give it a name. Hmm. Does sadness... Is it loneliness? Is it grief when you're sad that someone or a pet is lost? Is sadness fear about what's going to happen next? Let's take a look. Listen to it. Ask where it comes from and what it needs. Sadness has its own needs. It needs something from us. If you don't understand each other, just sit together and be quiet for a while. Find something that you both enjoy, like drawing. Listening to music or drinking hot chocolate. Maybe sadness doesn't like to stay inside. Try letting it out sometimes. And there we have our main character leading sadness out into the big outside world. Go through a walk through the trees. You can listen to the sounds together. Maybe all it wants to know is that it's welcome. And to sleep, knowing that it's not alone. There the sadness is actually turned into a blanket, or, no, it's just joined in the blanket there. Oh, nice picture of the person here with sadness there on the wall. When you wake up, it might be gone. But don't worry, today is a new day. And there we have all these people trying to deal with sadness in different ways. Riding along with it, playing with it, reading a book to it, giving it a hug, letting it play with their pet. Different ways of dealing with sadness. Right then, do in the comments below, please do write if you've got any of your own ideas about what the message of that story is for you, what you think people can do when sadness comes to call, and anything that it reminds you of. 
I look forward to seeing your comments and I'll be giving people lots of feedback this week on their work as Ms. Lopez will be busy in school and I'll be happy to be checking out what you're doing online. Goodbye for now. And...